Hey guys, what's up? I'm just doing a quick little vlog just to, well, I guess to keep me a little interested in the situation. Uh, let's see, Orlando, Florida, and here, this is my backyard. I am right up underneath the awning of the house because uh, the rains have started already. And what this is is not the hurricane. It's like the traditional Florida rain that we normally get. Um, but it's probably not going to, because the storm itself isn't going to get here till somewhere around Sunday, uh, Saturday, late afternoon, evening-ish. And then it's just going to constantly rain, oh, probably until Tuesday morning. So this little brick area out here, I just wanted to show. This area tends to flood sometimes on heavy rain, so that's why I got uh, on my sliders over here, both both sliders. I have some sandbags and some buckets set up uh, just to keep the rain off of the door. Uh, I got a little more work I have to do, but we cleared out nearly everything in the backyard. Uh, these are some of my trees. I'm just gonna go ahead and show them off. That is a, uh, a lichen, lyca, lyca. I don't know how you pronounce it, but it produces, it didn't do it this year. It did it last year. It'll probably do it next year. I think it's like every other year. It produces like these uh, really delicious um, grape style berries. It's they're really good. I, if I ever get a, I'll probably take a photo next year and show how they are, but they're really good. Uh, back there in the corner, that is a mango tree. It uh, just had its fruit for the year and it's done. Uh, up there in the dead center of the picture, the tall skinny tree, that's a papaya tree. And then we have a grapefruit over tree over there, uh, an oak in the corner, and then we have a pair of trees, one here, one around that corner. Those are grapefruit trees. It's raining, so let me, I'm gonna walk over there in the rain. But I, I can't see the shot, because I've closed up the phone. But right there, if you can see it, that is a jackfruit. And those things are huge. Usually they grow much lower to the ground. That's why I'm very, very concerned of it being way up there. Because when they break off, they're going to fall. Over here, this is our other jackfruit tree. And you can see i got one growing right now. And this guy, let me show you something here. Alright, here's my hand. And this thing isn't even fully grown. Uh, we had one that it just we didn't cut it down we lost track of it it grew up over in the corner over there and it basically uh just rotted it got so big we just forgot all about it and let's see is there any other there's one over in, on the growing into the neighbor's yard they can do whatever they like with it i have no idea how to harvest it how to cut it up how to serve it all i know is uh you can see right there some of the sap that stuff is sticky like bubble gum it's so strange but let me uh let me show you the side of the house okay i've gone ahead i'm, I'm on the side of the house i'm under an, another one of our trees i don't know what kind of tree this is it doesn't it seems to be one of the very few that doesn't produce fruit because we have two more grapefruit trees over there next to the van uh, this is something you can see we got wood on the inside because right here I tried drilling a hole, I tried another one over here, I tried up there. Uh, I must have the wrong drill bits because I cannot put wood on the outside of my house. The concrete is too thick, too hard, I don't know. I, I probably don't have the right drill bit. So I'm taking a chance. Uh, we've taped up most of our windows and we're going to... I just realized I'm covering the microphone for most of that. Uh, I'm, I've taped up most of the windows and we're going to... Just, I'm gonna stay around for the storm. If a window goes out, hopefully it does not because I'm right next to my neighbor's house, literally just a few feet. So there's not a lot of space for stuff to come flying in. All right, and then finally we have uh, the front of the house. You can see we have tape and we have wood inside the, uh, all, and it's braced on the inside as well. If I have to, I can always, if a window goes out, I can always screw the wood into the drywall on the inside and just put up a tarp. Uh, the front door, this area right here tends to flood a little bit on normal rain, so I'm going to set up, I'm going to use the bags of sand over there, and I'm going to set up a little barricade 
of uh, sandbags. So hopefully, hopefully we don't uh, get too much damage. I mean, some of my neighbors, they have their awnings down or they put up wood. This is a brand new house right here. And I have uh, another house, so I can't see it from here. They have metal shingles up, uh, metal hurricane protectors. Um, so this is going to be kind of interesting. I mean, I have these fruit trees all over the house. That's another mango tree. Yeah, I, I have I never really counted how many fruit trees I have. I, I know it's quite a bunch. But it is, what is it? It's Friday night. Storm will be hitting about 24 hours from now, and we're going to see how we fare from here.